I said, if the government shuts down tomorrow, I want you to know that I've got your back. No matter if you're hourly or salary, you're gonna have a paycheck. So earlier today, I met with the entire first shift crew of Redline Steel in my break room. And I wanted to give them one thing, a peace of mind, and to not panic over something that we have no control over. Across the nation, there's fear and an epidemic of what's happening with the coronavirus. And it's not the virus itself that scares me. It's everything else that falls in line with it. It's the fear that you can't go into the store and buy diapers for your baby. Can't go and buy formula. Everybody's hoarding everything. The concerns of a nationwide lockdown, curfews, banks closing, stocks down 3,000%. All of these things that are happening due to the impact behind this virus. The virus, yes, it is concerning, but I think as a nation, we need to stand together. So I held an all call meeting with my staff where I wanted to ease their peace of mind. I said, if the government shuts down tomorrow, I want you to know that I've got your back. No matter if you're hourly or salary, you're gonna have a paycheck. To take it a step further, I wanted to make sure that these guys, everybody was taken care of. So I'm covering everybody's April payment. In addition to that, uh, to help everyone out, I am going to be covering um, everybody's April house payment or your um, apartment. And that's not to, you know, boost my ego or tension. We're not venture capital funded. We don't have millions of dollars in the bank that we can do this type of things. You know, being the sole owner of Redline Steel, I can make these decisions based on prayer, based on faith that no matter what the impact ha holds for Redline and the future of it, I would not be where I'm at without one, your support, but also without my employees' support. When I think about family, I think about those that are there for me at the deepest time of need. That's really what family should be. And that's not just blood. That's anybody that would stop in the middle of the night to do something for you. So you really find out who's your friends and who your family is, really, not by blood, not when it's convenient for them, but when you need them the most. So I wanted to let all of my employees know, all 50 of them, that no matter what, I've got your back. And I want to challenge all of the business owners out there. You know, we can't rely on the local legislative to pass bills that are gonna pay our bills. We don't know what's gonna happen. But as a business owner, yes, I am stressed for my business. I'm concerned for the future of what's to happen. But more importantly, I'm concerned as a friend, as a mentor to all of my staff members. We're not just you know, guys that work a, a nine to five and that's it. I have a deep foster relationship with just about everybody in here because I genuinely care about everybody. And if everybody had that same mindset, that we are gonna work together and get past this collectively as a group. So I challenge all of the business owners out there, you know, don't take a distribution, put it back into your employees, put yourself in their shoes. Imagine where they would be if tomorrow we were on a government lockdown and you're hourly and you did not know where your next paycheck was gonna come from. Put yourself in a different scenario and now reverse the script. Who's there for you and do you have somebody else's back?